How do I know what courses to take next semester? In this video, I'll show you how to use Rutgers Degree Navigator to check your degree requirements and to figure out what courses you'll need to complete your degree at Rutgers. All Rutgers School of Environmental and Biological Science students are assigned an academic advisor. It's a good idea to meet with your advisor and to go over your course requirements to determine what courses you need to take. Prior to registering for courses, you can access Rutgers Degree Navigator at your my.rutgers.edu portal, or you can simply Google it. I use Google to find lots of Rutgers websites. Just type in Rutgers and then Degree Navigator. It comes right up. Now log into the student site with your net ID and password. I'm using the advisor website for this demonstration. Your degree navigator will look exactly the same as mine, except you won't have this box to load students. You'll just be able to see your own information. I've created a student for test purposes, so let's take a look at DegNav. You can access your programs of study, either individually or together. You can see in the center, you can access your SEBS core curriculum by hitting the audit button here. You can access your combined program, which would include your SEBS core and your major by clicking the audit button over here. Or you can go to the left-hand side, click this plus sign, and you can access your programs of study from the menus over here. If you're a first year student, you'll be undeclared and you'll just be able to see your School of Environmental and Biological Sciences core requirements. Once you have declared any major, minor, or certificate program, they should all show up over here or in the center area under Programs of Study. There's some other things you can check using Rutgers Degree Navigator. Above my degree, you'll see your graduation year and month. If your graduation date is incorrect, you should change it at mymajor.sevs.rutgers.edu. You can check the courses you're currently registered for along with any previous coursework you've taken by clicking on the My Course List. Here you'll see the courses for which you are officially registered, including work in progress and any courses for which you have pre-registered. You will see any previous coursework you've completed at Rutgers University, any transfer coursework, and advanced placement coursework. Down here, you'll see your Rutgers placement test information. Now let's click on the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences core curriculum to see how these courses will fit in and fill the core requirements. As we scroll through the core requirements, you can see a synopsis that tells us how many core requirements we've completed or are in progress. And we'll complete its physical sciences requirement with General Chem 1. At the bottom of the requirement, it'll tell us that biology has been completed with AP credits and that chemistry will be completed in the spring 2020 semester. Notice that general chemistry has a green dot next to it and general biology has a check mark. Let's go up to the legend and see what that means. Courses that have a check mark next to them indicate that the requirement has been completed with previous coursework. A green dot indicates that the course is currently in progress, and a yellow dot indicates a course that we are using in a what-if scenario to determine whether or not it will fill a particular requirement. Let's scroll down and take a closer look at the requirements. Notice that each specific requirement lists the goals that students must complete in order to fulfill the requirement. Courses have been assessed to determine whether or not they will meet these learning goals. There are a couple of different ways to figure out what courses you can take to fill a requirement. One is to click on the specific requirement, click on View Courses, and Degree Navigator will give you a list of courses that will fill that requirement. Just because a course is listed in Degree Navigator doesn't mean that course will be offered during the current semester. Let's pick out a course that fills this requirement and check to see whether or not it will be offered. 59101. Latin America, an introduction looks interesting to me. I'm going to use Google to search for the Rutgers schedule of classes. 
Since the fall schedule of classes isn't up yet, I'm going to look during the summer term. I'll click Summer 2020, New Brunswick, and Undergraduate. We can go to the Subject menu and look under Latin American Studies. And we can see that the course is offered over the summer. It's an online course. We are looking for a Contemporary Challenges, Diversity and Social Inequities course. You can also look to see what courses will be offered in this area by checking this Core Code tab. Use the drop-down menu and look for Diversities and Social Inequities. And this will tell you all of the courses that are offered over the summer that will fill this particular requirement. SEB students need to be a little careful with this in that it gives you the core requirements for SAS. SEB's core requirements are very slightly different, so you'll want to use the plan course function that we'll go over next to also make sure that the course fills the requirement. You can see Latin American Studies and Introduction is on this list, but let's double check it using our plan course function. Let's go back to Degree Navigator and use the Plan Course function to make sure that Latin America will fill the requirement that we want it to fill. I'll click on My Plan Courses, Add a Course. You can search for a course by using the title, but if you know the course number, that's the best way to do it. Latin America is 01-590-101. Click Search, then go over to the Student Plan and click this icon to add the course to your plan courses. A drop-down menu will show up. Select Future Term and click Add. Notice that under My Plan Courses, you'll now see that there's one course. Now let's go back to our core requirements and we'll check out how Latin America fills the SEBS core. So as we expected, we can see under Contemporary Challenges, Diversities and Social Inequities, that Latin America is showing up with a yellow dot that indicates the course is in your plan. Okay, another great thing about that course is if we go down, we'll see that Latin America is also filling an Areas of Inquiry, Social and Historical Analysis requirement. There's a little yellow dot next to historical analysis. And we can look at the bottom here to see that it's a future or planned course. You may use one course to fill up the two requirements within the core. However, within a specific area or box like this one, you can't double use a course. Let's look at cognitive skills and processes, quantitative and formal reasoning. We can see that calculus is currently filling a quantitative information QQ requirement. But if we check the list of mathematical or formal reasoning QR, we can see that calculus is also on that list. As you can see, Degree Navigator is not letting us use calculus to fill both requirements. However, if we take a course like Analytical Methods, which is only on the quantitative and information list, I'm going to put it into my plan courses. We'll go back and look, and we'll see that Calculus drops down and fills the Mathematical or Formal Reasoning QR requirement. Notice that when I hover over a course, the name of the course comes up. If we click on the course, we can see a little bit more information. DegNav is a first-year student and has not declared a major. Once you've declared your major or any other programs of study, such as minors or certificates, they'll show up in Degree Navigator under My Programs of Study. Even though DegNav is undeclared, we can still use Degree Navigator to check out what-if scenarios and to see how the courses that DegNav has taken will fulfill various major requirements. Let's see where DegNav stands with the biotechnology major. To check requirements for a program that you have not yet declared, click on search, then search programs of study. I'm going to type in biotechnology and then click search. 
Notice that when we search for biotechnology that several different options come up. Many of the School of Environmental and Biological Science majors are broken down by specialized options. If your major has different options, you would choose one option to follow. Let's take a look at the general biotechnology option. To check it out, we click the icon here under View, and the requirements will come up. Degnav has completed General Biology 115 and 116. Again, we can see if we hover over these courses, the course name comes up. And if we click on them, we get more information, including prerequisite courses. Degnav is in the process of completing General Chem 1. We can also see that equivalent courses come up under General Chem 1. Notice a lot of the courses down here are upper level courses with a three or 400 level. Degnav won't be able to complete these courses until he's completed some of the prerequisite courses. I also want to show you that courses within your major generally won't double count to fill requirements. You can use the planned course function to determine whether or not a course double counts. Just because you were able to double count courses that appeared on two different lists in the core requirement, it doesn't mean you'll be able to do that with your major requirements. Let's look at some of the upper level general biotech electives to determine whether or not we can double use a course that's on two lists. I'm going to click on the Group 2 Option Electives under General Biotechnology. And we'll see that Immunology is on this list. If we go back and click on the General Option Electives, we can see that Immunology is also on this list. We can use the My Plan Course function to see if we can use that course to fill both requirements. So I'm going to copy the course, go to My Plan Courses, add it, add it to my plan. Now we use the Search Programs of Study function to go back to biotechnology. The subject code for biotechnology is 126. That's another way that you can search for a major. Okay, so now let's go down and look, and we can see that immunology is popping in and filling a general biotechnology option elective, but it's not popping down in this area to fill a second option elective. Let the Green Navigator be your guide to determine when it's appropriate to double use a course. If Degree Navigator won't let you double use a course, it's not okay to do so. I hope you have the hang of using Degree Navigator now. It's really a great tool to keep you organized and on track to complete your degree at Rutgers. I'll leave you with a few Degree Navigator tips and cautions. Don't use Degree Navigator as a substitute for meeting with your academic advisor. Your academic advisor can help you determine the best courses to take for your specific career goals. I showed you that sometimes you can use courses to fill more than one requirement. Just because you can use a course to fill more than one requirement doesn't mean that you can count the credits twice. All students at Rutgers School of Environmental and Biological Sciences will need to complete at least 120 credits to graduate. This means that in addition to filling your major and core requirements, you'll be able to take some fun elective courses, or maybe add a minor. Let Degree Navigator be your guide as to when you can use a course to fill multiple requirements. If Degree Navigator isn't allowing you to use a course to fill more than one requirement, then double counting is not allowed. If you really think you should be able to use a particular course in your particular area, and it's not showing up in Degree Navigator, go see an advisor for clarification. Finally, Degree Navigator is Rutgers Degree Navigator. It also lists all undergraduate majors and minors that are offered at Rutgers, including those that are offered at Rutgers, Camden, and Rutgers, Newark. Let's see what happens if Degnab wants to complete a biology major. 
we can go under search, programs of study again, and if we put biology under the subject name, notice that all kinds of stuff come up. CA is the biology major at Camden. We want to make sure that we do the biological sciences major in New Brunswick. As a School of Environmental and Biological Sciences major, you need to make sure that you're going to take a major that's offered by the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences. You can't take minor programs of study that are offered at the School of Arts and Sciences, but make sure you're not looking for majors and minors that aren't even offered on the Rutgers New Brunswick campuses. If you have questions, check with an advisor.